welcome you guys to soft academy a software engineering academy today i am going to discuss with you about redundant relationships how to find out a redundant relationships in primavera p6 as you know that primavera p6 is based on cpm so redundant relationships redundant relationships are unnecessary logics in the network that cause unnecessary computation and confusion and congestion in a network diagram it doesn't necessarily result in schedule computation errors but it increases the number of the relationships in your model and also increase the relationship density for the activity which is one of the qc schedule check that is performed on the schedule these days it is always recommended to keep the model as clean as possible so here i will open my primavera p6 here i will show you that in the model here of the network diagram you can see here i have opened my single story project here when i go here this one is a redundant relationship can you see this one relationship i will let's zoom this one just behind this one one step and i will go here so can you see this activity relationship this activity and this activity so this is a redundant relationship i will just go down and i will try to see it more clearly so this relationship is a redundant and this logic in the network that causes unnecessary computation and confusion and congestion in network diagram you can see it from here in the network diagram also in the schedule you can see here a lot of lines this one and this one also when you go here in your network diagram you can see it clearly from here so you can see it here this conducts a confusion and congestion in network diagram it does not unnecessarily result in scheduled computation errors but it's increase the number of relationships in your model so due to this one maybe your number of relationship each activity may be assigned three or four relationship to each activity so if there are 1000 activities and your relationship are 5000 and 10000 it's worse it's worse ever it's worse ever because you need just a cpm that driving your activity and that are logical so a relationship is considered as a redundant every relation considered as a redundant when one of the activity successor have this same relationship with a less relationship free flow so for example i go here this activity in this activity its successor activity like this successor activity for slab beam steel work slab beam steel work these both activity this both activity and this activity is considered as slab beam steel work you can see it's written i have just written wrong spelling but don't issue don't have an issue with it slab and beam steel work having a relationship successor free float of 1 and 3 days so this one free float this activity is even not driving so these activities are not driving so this one are redundant activities relationship so this relationship is redundant when i see from this activity let's move for other redundant relationship here there is another redundant relationship here when i see this activity you can see relationship free float of two days here also and the column steel this one activity column steel work is your redundant to this successor when you see from here the successor this successor is this successor relationship is your redundant this successor relationship and here this successor relationship is also redundant also this one this is also you can see start to start and finish to finish both are redundant also there is another activity you can see this activity also have a float of this one two days you can see block masonry work in superstructure and we will see here block masonry work in superstructure having two days redundant so this relationship is also a redundant relationship because this activity cannot be done after doing this work so it disturbs our relationship our relationship cpm also so the redundant activity a redundant relationship assigned activity a relationship is considered as redundant when one of the activity successor have this same relationship with a less relationship free flow 
so if your project have a 1000 or 2000 activities so how you will find out your redundant relationships in your project complete project i will show you an excel trick that is one is very fast you can find it through easily so i will not waste your time i will go here and file and export that file into xls file here and then i go here activity relationship i will export that file so here you can see activity relationship you can add here a new activity relationship name here you can modify here i have already created that that's why i will not create a new one so predecessor successor you will write this the same activity relationship type predecessor activity status successor activity status you will all write like that one drag from here also add lag and driving the driving is a must because i will just see the driving i will apply the formula my true and false formula here in in the driving so that's one if it will count our predecessors total and it will just get out the duplicate activities driving and having a no option so we will just find out that activities i will press okay by accepting this column next next i will paste that one is on desktop so i will close this one i will minimize this one here so here on the desktop you can see my excel file has been exported when i open my excel file here you can see all the columns as we have decided in during exporting so you can see predecessor and also driving here this one is important and delete row delete this row whenever you add here d d it will delete your whole the row and your redundant relationship will be removed from there so we will add these here so every every activity we want to delete here we will add here these and all the D activity will be removed by importing back. So I will write here formula is equal to if if condition and then and count if and from a three to a twenty seven. A twenty seven dollar sign with it. For all activities, this formula will be repeated the same. And I will search for A three. Now it's greater than one comma. That one column is K three is equal to if we find not driving N not driving is equal to n and if we find n then write d in the column d and if we did not find n for that repeated it then do nothing so any correction needed in this one what correction needed i will find here correction there is point which correction we needed here any other correction we needed here comma comma 1 comma k4 so it's corrected the formula has been corrected here when we drag that down you will see all these here which are redundant activities i will go here for thousand activities go here and filter filter for d's all the d's will be displayed here i will go here and i will color that one to blue so you can see all the activities which are d are shown in the blue i will save that file so i want to delete all these rows from my schedule save that my file and i go here in the primavera and I will go here import backend file, XLS file. Next, I will go in the desktop. Desktop file has been saved. Villa construction. Next, activity relationship. Update existing project. Go for the next, select the project. Next, finish. When we finish this one, you will see there will be deletion here of your relationship. So before that one you can see there are relationship assigned and also there was a relationship assigned with it you can see that the relationship are removed now so now when we click this one 
only one activity has been assigned. Also, when we go here in the schedule, the schedule will be also shown clear. So there is no a lot of redundant relationship right now, no single relationship. You can see that one easily. So this is our today's content about redundant relationship, how to remove and detect redundant relationship in Primavera P6. So thanks for watching Soft Demi. We will meet in the next video.